So what happened with John in that bank? He survived. Unlike dear Hosea and Lenny. The only one they took alive. Why is that, you think? I don't know. I was already on the roof. I didn't see it. And Abigail, I presume she was able to slip away in time. Who are you talking about? You know, when I look back at all the chaos of the past few weeks, the apparent superficial chaos, I begin to wonder, maybe, for somebody, this is all going exactly to plan. I still ain't sure what you're saying, Dutch. Nor am I quite, but that many Pinkertons arriving like clockwork once again? Puede callarse ya, estamos cerca. The door is stuck. You will have to lift it. Pardon me, my queen. <clears throat> Arthur, come help me with this. Just lift it. Okay, then. <clears throat> Okay. More. Just a second. Pay more. Pay now. Dutch? What? What are you doing? Oh, Jesus. Easy, Dutch. What was that? Horrible old crone. But you killed her. She was going to betray us, Arthur. Couldn't you tell? No. Well, I got some Spanish. She was. You sure you're all right, Dutch? I am just trying to make sure that some of us survive, Arthur. Now, shall we proceed? I guess. Listen, <clears throat> son. You think I want any of this? I don't know. Of course I don't. But I made a pledge to you all. We would survive, no matter what. So how did you know she was going to betray us? What'd she say? It was in her eyes, in the way she was leading us. But you said you knew Spanish. I know human beings, Arthur. Well, maybe we've all just gone rotten. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> 